Hello guys. This tutorial is about uh, breaking off uh, tiling for the grid materials. So once you have like the pattern uh, of your floor and uh, in some cases you don't need to have this pattern uh, repeat uh, each uh, its tiling size. So you need some randomness to make it look more uh, realistic, organic, I know. Uh, here I have uh, the functionality. Uh, uh, I actually used this one for the upcoming game I and my close friends are making together. So uh, this one is based on a uh, quite old tutorial of a thoroughly VFX. Uh, I actually don't know whether I uh, Uh, whether I uh, spelled his name correctly, but uh, yep, uh, it's nearly the same approach, but he uses predefined textures for his methods, and I use uh, procedural generated masks. So let's start. Uh, as you can see, uh, I do have several material functions because I don't like to have everything inside uh, one material because uh, it will be quite a mess with uh, pins and wires and so on. So uh, once I've done everything, uh, we'll have like this one. So that's the function, that's the texture object that we will be using for it, uh, scale size of our grid and the seed means the some sort of uh, variable that will change uh, the randomness of our grid. So uh, start with this function. This one is called random tile. Uh, as you can see, I have several inputs. Scale UV multiplied by texture coordinates. Then I have custom rotator and also input uh, function, also scalar, for rotating uh, our texture, then uh, texture object uh, and uh, also input. Uh, so then I need to sample it to get the RGB value. So uh, I'll be lerping this one with the results of uh, combining several of these functions inside one. So. As you can see, break tile function. Here you have U of our functions, but with a different uh, attributes with different values. And as you can see, we are lurking between each of our uh, texture. It's the same uh, texture, the same sample, but with different uh, uh, random masks. Uh, also, Going back here, if we take a look at how this one looks, right now, as you can see, in my texture output, I have um, the bug num grid. It's the texture I made up in the uh, Inkscape. So just to show you how it looks, and if I scale it to one, this grid, this one, uh, and so on and so forth. So that's the preview of RGB. Next one is, uh, I have two uh, methods of making up the pattern that will be used as a mask for lerping between our texture samples. First one looks like this. Second one looks like this. Uh, there are two approaches. The one is using the built-in function with the vector noise. The other one is using the custom node. As you can see, this one actually is this part of node, but with uh, a code. Code here is uh, very simple. It's pseudo. Don't get me wrong. I don't really know how to uh, spell it correctly. <laughs> Just find out. Need to find out. So pseudo random x uh, 
description is the name for our custom nodes and for the input we should use x if you don't like the x you can make it another uh, variable and you need to provide the same name for the input also its output type is float1 so back to our graph so to use the vector noise i need to append uh, the third one because this one is already um vector2 because it's our texture coordinate we need to have vector 3 to make it work with the vector noise. Here you can see I have cell noise. This one will return the pattern of grid. Next, I need to mask out the channel to make it uh, uh, black and white. And need to round up the values to get the results. This one. So, um, in case I have a scale of 1. You can see that's the mask, scale of 2, scale of 4, and so on and so forth. But uh, the main idea is, as you can see, I have uh, the several, the separate uh, multiply. It's called scale tile. So we are actually combining uh, these functions, but with the several differences. Scale tile for each of them uh, is uh, higher than the previous one. So if the first one is 0 0.5, the second one is 1, and the third one is 2, and so on. That means that uh, the whole numbers for all of our grids uh, will combine like um, the squares. So uh, first one will uh, return the higher square, not the high, the big one. So uh, let me show you. So like this one or this or this one. So basically, as you can see, if we divide it by the uh, proper number, you will understand that we are combining like if it's first one, so this mask, then we should divide it by four size. It's gonna be like this and one more, even more. So it's like 16 in one uh, uh, previous square. So those masks uh, will be used for lurping between the texture that we have. And uh, our texture will have this UV and our scale tile have uh, its own UV just to make uh, the pattern more uh, randomness, more random. Other one is uh, we need to seal our results because the result of um, random here, if you don't seal it, just use it like this, you'll see that's the noise. We need to withdraw some values to make it look like grid. And uh, see it here, uh, actually, uh, if it's zero, it means we don't have anything. And if it's higher than like zero, you'll see that we have different pattern. So also round it and use it as different mask because like uh, it's up to you to decide which mask you want to go but personally for me random mask is better because I can control this seed so that's our function next thing is the break tile and as you can see from the preview right now uh, that's how it looks if we go with the scale of one that's one, two, four, eight, and so on. And you can see that right now uh, it's uh, actually fully random. That's how it will look uh, if it's not. 
it's rotated uh, on the right side, but you can see one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. So the pattern is uh, repeating. And with this function, it's totally random. It's up to you to decide how many uh, operations here you need to have, because each mask uh, here, if you take a look at this one, it's uh, our first sample. The other one uh, with the rotation uh, of 0 0.25 is turn 90 degrees. One more and one more. So you can see that all of them are actually rotated in different directions, on all of four directions. And uh, if you learn between like one and other and so on and so on, you will see that you actually have different directions, upwards, right, downwards, uh, left. So everything is here. So, uh, yeah, this function also has some inputs just to make it work uh, like this. So I can use uh, instance mater instance attributes of, like I have in my um, material of landscape. So texture that we will be sampling, scale UV to scale uh, the to actual size of our grid. So as you can see, uh, let me show here. If it's two, if it's one, if it's four, and so on. And seed. It's the scale that we'll be using, like this one. So this example is just to, for you to see how it's actually sampling, how the number is changing. So, uh, and as I said, uh, to make it work with different tilings, so this mask, um, let me show you. Whether it takes the scale, this one, no, this one is actually applied if I use not the random mask, but the noise mask. So I can switch between each of them. See this one? Nope. Oh. Actually, I'm going to show you how it looks. Um, now, as you can see on this preview, if I have different tilings, 0 0.5, I don't cover anything. If it's one, I cover one uh, of the force, like it's the force uh, size of our whole texture. If it's two, I'm gonna change those, like each one divided by this by the number of two, so it's will be like the four times for each of our quad, and so on. So if it's one here, if we have two here, if we lerp, we will see how it actually change. It change the one, but those two. We have four here. You can see, yep, uh, we messed a little bit here, but now as you can see, that we are messing around with each pattern that we have here and the size of our scale UV here to make it look properly should actually be like this, yep. So this one isn't taken in account. Uh, if you would like uh, to make it work with more masks, you need to have uh, one more lerp. 
but that's how it works. Now let's uh, bring everything back. So RGB here, then our RGB here. Yeah. So make sure that scale style of each previous mask is uh, lower by uh, the number of two. So if it's 0 0.5, the next one is one, the second one is two, and the, the fourth one is four. So lerp between each element, use the mask you like more, and then uh, have it like this one. So uh, again, that's it. That's how I have uh, my um, landscape uh, tiles in the proper way. So basically, if I don't have tile of everything like this one, if I don't have random tile, and if I have my function, I have something like this. And let me show you how my landscape looked without it. So basically it was something like um, I have this repeated pattern so you can see it looks the same but with this one it looks much more better much better just much better um yep uh again that's it and i hope you like it so i have the patreon i have the discord you can join them to support me to ask your questions and uh see you soon guys